Hello and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video I'd like to go through a queen trap that occurs in one line of the French defence. e4, e6, d4, d5. And here white has four common responses which is pawn takes pawn going into the exchange variation, pawn to e5 going into the advanced variation, but here we're going to look at a line which occurs irrespective of whether white plays knight c3 or knight d2 and it's a line called the Fort Knox variation um, and for those of you that are interested the Fort Knox occurs in the Rubenstein variation so it's a sub variation within the Rubenstein the reason why it can occur um, from either knight c3 or knight d2 is because irrespective of those two moves black is going to capture the pawn leading to the recapture either from from uh, from d2 or from c3 now the basic idea of the uh, Fort Knox is to offset one of the uh, problems within the French defense which is the development of the light square bishop and black is going to uh, basically play bishop d7 followed by bishop c6 and activate this light square bishop um, and basically seek to exchange at an opportune moment um, to uh, rid himself of this liability and then play c6 so we'll continue with the uh, basic plan as follows and in response to this white usually uh, continues development bishop c6 and bishop d3 and this is what you'll see in many of the textbooks in in terms of the um, Fort Knox variation black has a very simple plan uh, revolving around knight d7 bishop e7 knight f6 and then looking to exchange off the light square bishop and really simplify at any opportunity uh, by trading pieces and the goal of black is to remain solid and to get to an end game with a hopefully a superior pawn structure but even within very solid lines there are it's it can be incredibly dangerous just to play the moves without thinking so whilst there is some flexibility in the move order in terms of playing knight d7 or bishop e7 um, it's a very unfortunate mistake blunder to play the seemingly innocent looking knight f6 and the reason for that is as follows knight captures knight, queen recaptures and bishop g5 um, I had this played against me recently um, at which point I resigned uh, because there is no way I believe to save the queen um, the first try perhaps the best try is bishop takes here but instead of recapturing allowing the queen to escape by having a queen trade white can play queen c1 or queen d2 and um, there is still no flight square for the poor black queen she can't move this way she can't retreat this way um, and if she captures the pawn here then uh, a a discovered check leads to her eventual downfall so once again just quickly running through that 
Uh, it's a trapping line in what's called the Rubenstein French, which is uh, played uh, quite often and irrespective of whether black, sorry, white plays knight c3 or knight d2, black captures and black seeks to develop the problem piece by the route of bishop uh, d7 followed by bishop d6. What I'll do now is just quickly uh, go through the uh, basics of the Fort Knox setup uh, played in a slightly more accurate move order which is um, after white's move playing knight d7 and perhaps uh, with d3 castles and knight f6 and at this point um, as you can see uh, it's black is in quite a solid position so if you play uh, the French defence, uh, particularly the Rubenstein variation, um, and you've come across something called the Fort Knox, uh, ensure that you're aware of this trapping line. It's um, obviously catastrophic to lose your queen under any circumstances, um, but particularly to, uh, to a simple trap. I've played the Fort Knox myself a bunch of times, and um, in a recent tournament, uh, online tournament, um, just played the moves without really considering um, what White's alternatives were and actually fell into this trap myself so um, this is the reason for covering the video to hopefully uh, make those people aware of it um, so that you can avoid it. So if this video has been useful then please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving a, a comment or clicking on the like button those options are free and as always if you have any comments or questions please leave them for me at YouTube thanks very much